You can replace this text with any text you wish. You can either write in this text box or paste your own text here. Taylor Swift didn't talk to Travis Kelsey after her performance at Arrowhead Stadium in July because she needed to rest her voice. She should be thankful that she still has three weeks left before her era's tour returns to Argentina after five months. If not, she could forgive herself for making another silent vow after watching this incredible Kansas City Chiefs victory from the stands and supporting him. Swift experienced every moment of a fierce 31-17 victory over the Los Angeles Chargers, complete with a Chiefs sweatshirt and a number 87 bracelet for her partner. She even unveiled a brand new, joyous handshake with Brittany Mahomes. Despite her intense feelings for Kelsey, which seem to be becoming stronger every day, she has undoubtedly been enjoying her football these past several weeks. So how was she not able to? Watching a game like this, where Kelsey gave her so much to shout about, especially here. He was outstanding on Sunday afternoon in the Kansas City sunshine as his club persevered to win for the sixth time in a row. He received 143 yards in the first half alone, which was a career high for a first period, and scored a touchdown right before halftime. To add even more background, by halftime, his quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, had thrown 321 passes. As Kelsey was. On National Tight Ends Day, which the NFL celebrates every fourth Sunday in October, the man many believe to be the greatest tight end of all time paid a fitting homage. And if that is the case, now more than ever, his talent has to be recognized and valued. In addition to allowing him to spend time with Swift, the 10-day hiatus from his previous game allowed him to rest a damaged ankle that required extensive taping in preparation for last Thursday's victory over the Denver Broncos. Now, he is playing at his best. The Chiefs' four-year, $57 million contract with Kelsey expires in 2019. He acknowledged in June that he is underpaid, but he is willing to accept it in exchange for playing for a successful team. It's unlikely that he'll be dealing with the same money issues in Season 2. Swift made his debut at Arrowhead to watch Kelsey and the Chiefs defeat the Chicago Bears at the end of September, a little over a month ago. Since then, she has crowned herself the queen of the Chiefs' kingdom and the couple has become the most well-known in the world. However, Taylor's NFL career will come to an end in Kansas City after today. When the Chiefs play the Broncos in Denver on Sunday, many will be wondering if she will be in attendance as well. You'd have to assume that she will be because the Chiefs' game against the Miami Dolphins on November 5th which takes place in Germany, is scheduled to take place four days before her era's tour resumes in Buenos Aires. Swift's return to Missouri is scheduled for December 10 against the Buffalo Bills, which is seven weeks away. However, Swift's presence unavoidably draws attention, Sunday belonged to Kelsey and his winning team. As of late, Kelsey claimed that he is even more on top of the world because of his connection with Swift than he was following his Super Bowl victory in February. However, given the trajectory he and his group are taking, it may not be too long before he discovers what it's like to experience both simultaneously. Between now and February, there will be a ton of football games played. However, Kelsey has limited options at the moment.